Hi, it's Tyson. I'm here at the beach with my beach read, Lovecraft Country by Matt Rudd. Uh, Lovecraft Country, it's about racism. That's why I chose it. Kind of a hot topic these days. Um, the cover is kind of busy and messy. I don't like it much. I think they were going for kind of a 1950s pulp science fiction look and uh, not to my taste. But don't judge a book by its cover in this case, because it is uh, quite a nice book. Uh, it takes place in 1954 uh, in Jim Crow America. And what that means is that we're talking about an openly racist nation. Uh, racism is quite legal and quite uh, largely practiced, at least in this book. Uh, that means our heroes, they were black, can be constantly refused service at restaurants, are constantly harassed by the police, they're constantly treated with contempt uh, by the general populace, uh, and it's just another day in the park for them uh, while they're solving mysteries. Again, it's Lovecraft country, and what that means is we're talking about supernatural horror, and it is a horror book. Uh, it does have these supernatural entities in it. It's Lovecraft. So, you know, we're talking about the usual staples, right? We're talking about cult leaders. Uh, we're talking about mysterious tomes of forbidden knowledge. We're talking about horrible things lurking in the woods. We're talking about ghosts and uh, demonic familiars and creatures with tentacles. And they're all in here. Uh, the book is divided into different chapters, which have different mysteries. Uh, the main character, Atticus Turner, fought in the Korean War, and he's on a trip back to get together with his estranged father, uh, who was upset that he joined the military in the first place. Uh, and the father wants to explain to him about, you know, his secret heritage uh, from a uh, town in New England. Anyway, um, Atticus' father produces a uh, safe Negro travel guide. Uh, it's basically trying to steer black people around uh, the worst parts of racism, uh, basically uh, telling them what restaurants uh, will serve them, uh, what uh, types of highways you want to stay off uh, at night, um, what garages will fix your car if your uh, car breaks down, that type of thing. Uh, so, like these main characters, look, they're not terribly surprised by this Lovecraft idea that the universe is vast and it's an ancient expanse of indifference at best and hostility at worst. Uh, that's what they face every day. Um, basically, um, this book is about racism. It's about how the characters shared experience with the atrocity of institutionalized racism something that we're dealing with today. Anyway, let me read you a small part of the type of thing that, you know, they're dealing with the whole time. Uh, this is a boy named Neville who imagines racism as a demon. Uh, he's trying to call his grandfather and wish him a happy birthday. Uh, he picks up the telephone and he gets connected to the operator in Biloxi. This is Neville Porter calling person to person for Mr. Porter. The operator, a white woman, who sounded old and was probably hard of hearing, said, What's the name of the party you wish to speak to, Mr. Porter? Neville repeated, His first name, said the operator. Oh, okay, Neville told her. It's a private house. There's only one Mr. Porter there. That's when the demon came out. Now you listen to me good, you goddamn pickaninny, the demon said. If you think I'm going to call a nigger mister, you got another thing coming. What's his name? N -n -n Nelson, Neville said. The demon mocked his stammer, then made him apologize and address her as ma'am before finally putting the call through. By then, Neville didn't even want to talk to his grandpa anymore. Didn't want to talk to anybody. Why didn't you just hang up, Curtis asked. On the operator, I mean, not your grandpa. I couldn't, said Neville. It would have been disrespectful. So she was disrespectful to you. And what's she going to do about it anyway from a thousand miles away? But she's not a thousand miles away from my grandpa. What if she got mad and talked to the other operators down there? 
You think he'd ever get a phone call again? Curtis reared back in outrage. They can't do that. It's Mississippi, stupid, Neville said. They can do whatever they like. Well, that gives you kind of a peek of uh, the type of uh, harassment that they have to go through while trying to solve these mysteries. Uh, it's not like in a lot of these Lovecraft books where the main character can just go to the library and find the answer. Uh, being black, they're not going to let him go to Miskatonic University and check out the secret dome with all the answers. Anyway, I enjoyed it quite a bit, and I hope you will too. Uh, HBO enjoyed it too. They're going to make it into a series later this year.